Hello, and welcome to yet another episode. Um, not too sure what I'm going to call this one, but I do know that it is the British episode of the biplanes and starting experience in War Thunder. And honestly, there is nobody with more of the biplane experience than the British tech tree players. They get to thoroughly play through quite a few different iterations of biplanes. Let's hop right up into it. <clears throat> quite frankly. Quite frankly, to be honest. Um, I find the British planes, the British biplanes, to be, like, the worst. Out of all the bunch that I've played, they are literally kind of, like, just, just, just the worst. Um, starting off with these Furies, the reserves that you actually get, it's pretty bad. It's it's pretty bad. You get, uh, I don't even think they're seven six twos, are they? Oh, maybe. Uh, 7.7s? They're not bad with their damage, but they're definitely worse off than the German guns or anybody else. They also don't shoot that fast, so there really is no advantage to these guns. They're quite simply just your bog standard 762 loadout gun. I'm scared from flying straight into the enemy. I'm gonna insist on that one. But yeah, the maneuverability on these things isn't bad because they are biplanes, but compared to the other biplanes, it's subpar. <clears throat> Again, compared to other biplanes. But it's still a biplane, it still moves. Um, the Furies, from what I know, do not have weapons so you can't do, like, any afterburner on them. That's a CR-32. That is not... Hold on, it's probably Italian. I remember two CRs. There's an Italian one, and then there's, like, a French one, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, sir. Time for you to get out of this guy. Are you gonna... I'm not going all the way down like that. How much ammo do I have? I'm not just taking out. <clears throat> ah, shoot. We gotta go up against the BF-109. I will say, going up against anything that's like... higher BR than you is just... absolutely focused to try to attempt to do. I must commend you, sir, for trying to shake all of those people off. It did not work in the end, but I do indeed commend you. I'm 
Yeah, the engine grinds pretty fast. We're pretty good as far as the 110% um, goes. I lived that long, but as you can see, we are not very durable in the slightest. Nope. Yeah, let's get out of the car. <coughs> let's go ahead and jump into the Fury Mark II. And then we'll try out the Nimrods. <clears throat> really, the British just have a biplane and bombers experience. I don't think they have a single non-biplane that's just a 1.3. Because they do have, I think, it's not the Kingfisher, it's the, um... I'm trying to remember what it is. The Sea Gladiator, that's what it's called. I'll show you like Yeah. Nothing really to brag about. Definitely not bad mobility and agility. Just really nothing to out of ammo. It seems like my team has thoroughly destroyed the enemy team. Quick couple thousand silver coins here and there. Oh, not what I wanted. <coughs> Careful zooming in, it just kind of like can really mess up your whole perception and control of your vehicle. Just been doing a lot of um bring you guys back in like either the next match or when we start dogfighting again. Um, I think I would like to actually show you just like 
any example of how maneuverable this thing is. It can turn around fairly well. But in exchange for being able to turn around, it just does not have anything on speed. There is no speed to this vehicle. So yeah, not bad. Not the most maneuverable, but it's not bad. I'll just dish out a quick few of the So we have 15.8, and in comparison, look at these, also only have 15.8, so that's about the same. They're pretty good. Then if we go over here to the Swedish, put these in, see it's about 15.3, so it's not it's pretty bug bug standard. Pretty good at turning. Mm, better at turning. I think that's what it is. It's better at turning than what I remember. However, its speed just cannot... It makes it difficult to utilize that turning to its fullest ability. And it's like inability to actually be really fast. Um, let's head into battle again. We'll switch out these Furies, because I think, you know, they're pretty bog standard, you know. But then, we got the Sea Gladiator. can put that in there. And we'll go ahead and see... Yeah, no. There we go. We'll put in the second Bomber. And then we'll have a showcase of the bombers. I'll talk about the V-51 here in a minute. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. This thing should be classified as a strike aircraft, because it's really not good as a bomber aircraft. Let's use the uh, Mark 1, throw on some universals, and just see 15.7 and 15.9. They are a bit better at turning, and I noticed that they are technically faster, but also technically slower. Or, they are technically slower, but they are also faster, because... No, this one doesn't have WEP. I think the Nimrod Mark 2 has WEP. Same 7.7, although I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same guns. I was going to say, I think they shoot a bit faster. Oh, there's that key 10 that's being quite brave for a key 10. I'll go after the suit too. Someone has to. Everybody is. How are you alive?
Where did all the enemies go? There was like five of them around here earlier. This is a Q10. Yep, it's gone. Ooh, there's a Q36. Alright. Do this thing. Pretty maneuverable. Not very fast at all. Two choices. Go after the big group of planes and probably get attacked by more than two. Or single one out. It's not gonna work. Excuse me more. I don't know where you're at. But when I find you, it will not be pretty. Oh, he's already gone. Uh, we got a D3A1. I would like to get this thing out of the sky. It is very dangerous. Extremely capable. take out a couple of these vehicles. See if I can aim them. There we go. It's a good ish distance. Post away, nice speed, gain height, circle back around. Looks like yet again we uh, took out the enemy. Nimrod Mark II, really the same old story, except it actually is wet. And yeah. I'm gonna probably just uh, skip to the next match. Alright. Hold on, let me fix the actual window. I'm sorry there. Y'all probably saw that black. I did not see the uh, the bar on the side of the screen. However, I'm going to show off a bit of the Sea Gladiator. Okay, that took away a lot of tickets. That or they're already flipping. 
on three. So yeah, I was right. The Nimrod Mark II literally just has left, which means it's extremely fast, um, acceleration-wise. But it did take quite a bit of a hit to its max speed. So it's a bit of a give and take, if you ask me. Um, this thing is amazing because it's literally improved in every way. They're like, all right, so our guns aren't that great. What do we do? Add guns. Improve the flipping agility and the speed. Disengage. Oh, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. How? Just how? Alright, fine then. I can show you my bummer. Ah, no, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. Swordfish is, um, not maneuverable, like, at all. It's a biplane, but it's not maneuverable at all. Extremely, extremely slow. It apparently does have a good turn time. Because it probably moves at 100 miles per hour, is it? So yeah, that is good turn time. It's just... It's just really slow, and it feels really bad. Also, you only have one gun. I don't know why. really should have put two on here. But I guess this arm thing is just so heavy it can't go faster, so... I don't think the swordfish ever actually had more than one gun, but... I'm just saying, like, for the gun to be viable... Oh, it's a viewport. Why am I going against the viewport? Why am I trying to do this? Not very smart of me. The swordfish is slow. Hardly maneuverable. I didn't crash into him, he crashed into me, that was pretty big, I was trying to avoid him. Anyways, Swordfish, yeah, it's pretty bad, only 7.7s, only one 7.7 .7 offensively, only one defensively, which aren't really good, but you have some good bombs, so, you know, you get to punish the enemy a good bit. This thing, like I said, is basically an even, like, it's a bit fatter, but it's also pretty maneuverable for a uh, monoplane, early monoplane, it's pretty maneuverable. It can feel slow if you try to use it as a traditional bomber, it will feel slow, but it can be particularly fast without being maneuverable. Like, you only have one of two things, either you're really slow, really maneuverable, or you're really fast. but not maneuverable. So I'll show you right here, real quick. Also, you have four guns, so you're able to kind of punish people that overrun you pretty well. There we go, I think we took out that whole section. Where is it at? Where did the dog go? Hey dog. 
Where are you going? I'm right here. I'm right here. Get back here. But yeah, as you can see, I, could, I think I just turned around like twice there. But I have no speed now. Whatsoever. Now I'm basically a sitting duck. I'm scared. You should back off. Told you so. Come here. I want you. Take okay, down this. Wait a second. We're being. We're being shot. Down. 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 Up, back down, pull up, drop that one, drop this one, drop that one. No maneuverability. Dang, we didn't get low enough. Alright, we're gonna have to land here, so let's try going out from here. There we go. Gunner is getting some good hits in. Safely landed the craft. So you can see why I said it's more of a strike aircraft than a bomber. The only thing I, I think is confidently keeping it in the bomber range is the fact that it's not very maneuverable. So it's not maneuverable, which means, like, people can't really use it very much. And if people die more in the aircraft, it means the BR goes lower. So, like, the people that newly pick that up, probably going to be like, hey, this has four guns on it. It's not super slow all the time, and it can maneuver at slow speeds. Let's try to use it, and then get punished for doing so against other experienced players which keeps it rather low um torpedoes let's throw it there i don't care too much about the swordfish it's not fast at all the sea gladiator i actually fairly enjoy um unfortunately it got knocked out of the sky pretty quick because it is still a biplane so it is like completely to be expected from a biplane so let's see, what was I, okay, let's uh, switch out this Nimrod, which one is this, is it the Blenheim, well we do have to replace the swordfish, so, but, so, this is going to be the final lineup, I'm going to, I already showcased off this one, we're going to go in with the Sea Gladiator, be a bit more aggressive with it, um, as if I didn't learn my lesson the first time. Go on to the Blenheim and then the Butte Fort. My bad, I completely uh went blank there. Let's see. Mm. Try to use some early whip, get some speed, and some extra height. Right. Uh, I don't know where all the other enemies are at. Are we in a condensed match? Oh, we are! There's only a few of us. I'll go up to the Nimrod. I feel like all of my rounds just uh, kind of fade right past him. I'm a little bit annoyed. Use the 
keyboard, I guess. Because he wants to be all fancy with it right now. And he's gone. So, <laughs> we made that really difficult. Not entirely sure why. I don't know what this P26 is doing. He doesn't have the engine for that. I feel kind of bad. I was... I'm not going up against people that are really skilled. Why did they give us a full-size map with only a reduced... With reduced teams? I don't understand that. Ah, I was about to say, was my guns not working against vehicles? Usually the game will tell you that. Use bombs for heavily armored targets. Seeing that message. Alright, we're gonna hop back into these, uh, knock these planes out of the sky real quick. Let's see if these are the last planes that we gotta knock out of the sky. We need the, uh, two Charlie. It's a BF-109, top couple of shots. Turn back around. So slow right now. It's 160 miles per hour. Oh, he's not going very fast at all anymore, is he? Oh shoot. How could I let this P26 get on after my ally? I'll go after this uh, other guy. I'll help him out. I think he needs it. Give yeah, a quick little demonstration of this uh, fighter plane. Go ahead, hop into a Blenheim, and then I'll showcase the B4. Yeah, the Blenheim's the worst of the two. It's not bad. Not a bad plan, it's just the one gun that's like 10 feet to your flipping left. Not super helpful, not super accurate at close ranges, where you're usually going to be actually trying to use it because you're a bomber, not a fighter. The bomb loadout choices at first aren't too great on it either. It's also not terrible. 
bomber is not very good at dive bombing, but it is capable of doing so. And again, wish it had more central gun or either, like, I really would prefer two guns. But this thing is, um, you know, I think it's late world one, maybe even. Kidding, no. This thing is early World War II. Probably even in the uh, interwar period. We'll have one more match where we, uh... Go off the rails as a Beaufort. There is an automated turret down at the bottom there. It's a pretty neat little turret. the sky. Yeah, I'd pretty much just socked up all the uh enemies, didn't I? That's five. Five, two, four, and one assist, so yeah. Most of these guys learned kind of the hard way that, like, I'm kind of not new, unfortunately. What does this give us? Man, it's just a title. Demolition Man. I don't care about Demolition Man. I want silver. Lions. Give it to me. Well, there's 10k. Got everything for the Sea Gladiator. I think wings repair is a bit more important for this thing. All modifications have been researched. So now we'll just go in one more time with the Beaufort. This one's a lot fatter. It's a lot slower from what I remember. It might be slower, it might be faster. I'm not too certain. Let me go ahead and pop in it. Oh, it's this beauty. So that rear gunner is absolutely amazing. The Blenheim its gunners are alright, but this gunner is a 50 cal. It has a 50 cal gunner on it. Look at that thing. Is it a dual 50 cal? They're dual 50 cals. Love it. It's a dual 50 cal turret. Oh, I flew right directly into the enemy. Probably not the smartest thing to do. And this thing is a giant target. But anybody that gets behind me soon learns, especially these beginning VRs that it was not a smart idea to try to do so. Can go ahead and drop a few bombs here. I didn't get everybody in that run. It is rather fast, yes. I actually like this thing a lot really quick it really should be a higher BR but what I'm guessing is again 
you know, bombers, if you use them traditionally, fairly weak, fairly exposed. That key 27 should have had, I mean, like, literally just should have had it. And once my gunner is down, it's kind of game over. For me, at least. This one doesn't have a turret at the bottom, unfortunately. I'm telling you to drop off bombs. It's another multi-strike. As you can see, this thing is fairly good at keeping speed while it's being rather damaged. So for a bummer, it's not bad. I think we have all our gunners out, though. Mm -hmm. That's really unfortunate, because the gunners are really the best thing about this craft, even though it's not the only good thing about this craft. It's literally just the pilot in this thing. Yep. Alright. That, that, that's fair. I had free reign with a gill. E We're going up against T-43s? You should not be going up against T-43s. The only thing that might stand a chance is V-156, and that's because if it turns well and gets lucky, it can take out a T-43 rather easily. Because, you know, Japanese planes aren't very dur durable. Although the T-43, with a little bit of luck, can survive quite a bit of punishment. But it's not super durable, especially if you catch it on fire, then the darn thing's just down. So let me show up this thing real quick. It doesn't have any 50 cals, but the dual guns are rather effective enough on their own, which is why you always hear me say, I would rather have two, because just two 7.7s and 7.62s can just do a lot better than one. I don't know what the purpose of one is, I mean, to maybe, hopefully, secretly, like, damage a fighter and scare it off the same way that a dog sneezing can scare a cat type of scared <laughs> but yeah that's really the whole um starting british experience it's mainly biplanes and uh bombers you don't really get to see any of the, uh... What is it called? You don't get to see any, like, monoplane fighters until you get fairly far down the line. But you do get your nice little strike aircraft in the form of the V-156 B-1, which is technically a bomber. I don't know what this plane is doing. It just made a full circle. And that's why I like this thing. And that's what a strike aircraft can do. T-47 
CBD first. How? How is this thing alive? And I'm gonna have to get the juice. Or the Yonkers, I should say. Ah! I should have went for the Yonkers first. I should have went for the Yonkers. Stop it! When I get you. Oh my golly, when I get you. Come here. Come here right now. Thing they should be trying to protect. They shouldn't be letting it go off by its own. Oh, they weren't. They were just on my tail and I couldn't see them. Good for them. Pretty close match indeed. We're gonna see if we can uh, tie it up real quick. <laughs> we're more than likely gonna lose, being fairly honest here. And. Let's keep forty five. I don't care. Oh, yeah, that's the flipping interceptor thing. That thing's dangerous. Come on, get rid of it. This thing should be gone by now. It shouldn't even be able to fly. How have you outlived like four of your teammates? <coughs> I swear. Well, once again, an outstanding match. In some, if I had to really say it, mediocre planes, and all except for the uh, V-156. The Sea Gladiator. And the Beaufort. I'm trying to remember which are the bombers. So like three of the seven, really. Oh, that's nice. And get a new turret because that can really help. And go ahead and we'll just unlock some running tanks. We'll get a airframe because that can really help. Oh, yeah, airframe. Because that can really help. And yeah. Um, that's it. Really, some planes that can maneuver pretty well, but nothing that's super maneuverable. And uh, guns that are lackluster in all but the uh, one turret on the viewport. Guns that are rather lackluster, except for these two as well, because they have four of them. So it kind of makes up for the fact that the guns are not that good. Um, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, throw a like on the video. If you could so kindly. Um, also, if you did like this content, I implore you to check out the channel and look at the other videos. And if you think you like this content, go ahead and throw in a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But most importantly, have a nice day, and I hope to see you next time.